Well, hi you guys, it's Miss Jessica here with Bebo Kids R Academy. Welcome to our class today. We're going to be learning how to draw Mario. Now for our class, we're going to have a lot of fun with a lot of creativity. You can use whatever materials you have to color, but I will be showing you some fun things to draw. So let's go ahead and look at what we're going to make today. Today, we're going to again draw our Mario. Now, I'm going to be using acrylic paint, like you see here, but you can use everyday materials like my sample. So this is made with marker, chalk, and oil pastel. So have some fun, grab your paper and pencils, and we'll go ahead and begin. Now, the first thing we're going to do is our drawing. Now, we got to think about what paper are we going to draw on. If you're using acrylic paint like me, you're going to want really thick paper or even a canvas. If you're using everyday materials, you can use whatever paper you do have. All right, go ahead, turn your paper up and down vertical. This is our one and only final draw. Everyone, make sure you use your pencil today, but I will use my Sharpie so you're able to see all of the lines that we'll draw. To start Mario's face, we're going to need to draw the big circle for his head. Now in my picture, his head's floating above some sort of level he might be playing on. So we'll talk a little bit about the background in just a second. But we're going to draw a nice big oval. If you need to trace it, maybe for a plate, you can do that as well. I'm going to start in the middle, a little towards the top, leaving some room at the bottom. So that way I can add in my level that he might be playing on. So again, go ahead if you want to grab a plate, flip it over, you can trace that as well. Now, for our next step, we're going to draw another circle. It's for his nose. He actually has a pretty big nose. It's going to go right in the middle, and we're going to draw it nice and large. So again, if you need to grab something to trace, you are also more than welcome to do that too. All right, I do want to remind everyone out there, this is a recorded video today, so if you need to pause at any time, please do so. Not a problem. Now next, we're going to jump to the eyes of Mario. They actually hide behind his nose because it's that big. So we're going to start on the right side, curving an oval up and down. And one more time on the left, curving it up and down. Go ahead, try to make those about the same size, but try your best and make sure to have a lot of fun. Inside, we're going to add some more ovals to show the iris, the colored part, and the pupil, which is the black part in the middle. I'm going to draw another curvy rainbow shape one and a smaller one inside too. Same thing for my second eye, one and two. Now Mario is a person and when you draw people, you want to add a little highlight. So I'm just going to draw a smaller circle. Now I am reminding you guys that to make sure to use your pencil, don't use a Sharpie yet. We will use that in just a second, but I want to make sure that if we need to erase some lines, we can today. Now that we have his eyes, let's go ahead and move to one of my favorite things, his mustache. It's a nice big mustache. We're going to start on the side of our nose, our big circle. We're going to draw two curved lines out. One, don't touch the edge of the face though, and two. It's a nice big mustache. Next, we're going to curve our lines coming down. So I'm going to start on the right, and I'm going to curve it like a U, one, and two, all the way to touch the nose. One more time, curving it one, and two, all the way to touch the nose. Now, if you want to make it bigger or a little smaller, that is totally fine, up to you. Have fun with your Marios today. He's been drawn many times in many different ways, so you guys can be very creative. Now my Mario is going to be super happy, maybe he just won the level he was on. So I'm going to draw a U from one mustache to the other. And that way it looks like his mouth is open, maybe he's saying his name, Mario's got a lot of catchphrases. And I'll add a tongue inside, which is two rainbows next to each other, just like that. So go ahead, finish up your mouth again if you want to be creative, maybe he's not happy, maybe he just ate. Um, the superstar, so he's super, super excited. <laughs> Go ahead and just decide how you want his mouth to be. And underneath, if you do have room, if you don't, it's okay. You can draw a little rainbow for his chin. All right, our Marios are looking really awesome. So keep drawing, finish up those little last details. And we're going to move on to his ears next. His ears are going to start right about where the eyes are. And we're going to curve a C and a backwards C. Coming down one, he's got nice big ears. 
and two. <laughs> now to make it look a little bit more realistic, we're gonna add a curved line inside each ear on the left and the right. Now Mario looks a little silly right now because he doesn't have hair or a hat. Mario is very famous for his hat, but he actually wears a lot of different kinds. Depends on which game you're playing. Mario could wear a hat for Cappy, which is one of the newest Marios out there. He could also just wear his classic red hat with an M, but he also gains different powers. He shoots fire, ice, and he even turns into a cute little fox and flies around. So if you want to draw a different hat, you're more than welcome to. I do encourage a reference photo, so maybe look up a picture of Mario or grab out your game that you love to play. But I'm going to show you just the classic red Mario hat. To draw that, we're actually going to start inside of his head, where his forehead would be. We're going to draw two curved lines, one towards the top and one scooting down just a little bit. Almost looks like a sweatband, so maybe Mario's going to go play tennis. <laughs> That's another one of his games. You could do that as well. We're going to extend those lines out a little bit longer on the top and on the bottom. Now make sure to curve those, that's very important because we want it to look 3D or realistic. At the ends, you can just curve those lines coming down, connect it together, and erase any lines on the inside. Now, I can't erase my Sharpie, but you guys can erase those pencils. So grab an eraser and erase those two lines inside the brim of the hat. While we're at it, I also want you to go ahead and erase this line here at the top, the top of his head. We can't see it, it's hiding inside of the hat. So go ahead, erase any lines you don't want. Now let's go ahead and draw the big outside of his hat. It's gonna start on the top of our ears. And the top of his hat is a rainbow shape, but it's not a perfect rainbow. The top is actually pointed and the sides come out a little bit longer. So as you're drawing that today, kind of keep that in mind, or maybe you're gonna change it to be something else. So I'll start at the top of our ear. I'm gonna curve it out, coming up like that rainbow shape, down and back to touch the top of the ear. I know it looks a little silly right now, but we will be adding and changing things and hopefully erasing will help that out too. Now on his hat, he has the letter M. So I'm gonna draw a rainbow right in the middle of this brim of his hat, and I'm gonna write an M, uppercase. Could also make it look a little 3D. Maybe you wanted to have a different symbol on it, a leaf. Maybe it has a star. So you guys can choose whatever you want for that hat as well. Now we're almost done with Mario's face. Please go ahead and finish up any little extra creativity you haven't added yet, but we need to put his hair and his eyebrows. We're gonna start with our hair, and it comes from underneath this part of our hat coming on to his face. So I'm gonna start at the end, and I'm gonna curve my line down and make it pointed. One, two, and back up. Go ahead and try that out, and then erase any lines inside. So I'm gonna to jump to the other side, kinda of goes over his ear, one, two, and back up to touch the hat. Again, make sure to erase with your pencil any lines that you don't want inside. Our last thing is eyebrows, and he looks kind of funny right now because he has no eyebrows. So let's go ahead and draw two rainbows right at the tops of his eyes. Now if you wanted to, you could just leave those eyebrows like this, but I'm gonna make mine 3D, or just a little thicker, and I'm actually gonna have it curve up to touch his hat, on both sides. His eyebrows are so big, we actually can't see all of them. So go ahead and just connect his eyebrows. If you have enough room, you can just connect them together. They don't need to be under his hat. Awesome, you guys. Go ahead and finish up your Mario head. Now, we're not done with our picture, but we are done drawing Mario. If you'd like to add any more creativity, please feel free to do so. This is your drawing. There's a lot of things you could add. But we're going to think about a background now. Everyone, let's do this together. We're gonna draw a straight line. This line is for the ground line. So this is the part of my picture where my ground is underneath and on top are all my objects. Now in the Mario world, there are many places he and his friends go. So I have some pictures here I'm gonna show you as inspiration, but you can draw whatever you want. 
This is what I'm inspired by today. It's just your classic beginning level where you see the ground, there's a pipe that he jumps in, he can travel all over the question mark box that you don't know what kind of prize he's going to get, and simple blue background with some hills. But there's also other places he travels to. This is actually in the sky. So you can see it's a big mushroom that he's jumping on and it's polka dotted, then there's clouds everywhere, so you can make your Mario floating in the sky. And one of my personal favorites is the desert one. You got these palm trees and cactus everywhere, pyramids in the background, there's that angry sun in the sky. So if you feel like you wanna use one of these, you're more than welcome to, or you can just go ahead, follow me, or even create your own. Maybe you wanna be in Bowser's castle, or underground, or in the water. You guys can have a lot of fun. But let's go ahead and add those details now. For mine, I'm actually gonna make it grass. So underneath my ground line, I'm gonna draw a wavy line, just like I would see in the game. And on top, I'm gonna to draw really tall bushes, or maybe these are little tiny uh, mountains. So I'm gonna draw one and two on the left, and I'll just do one tall skinny one on the right. Now sometimes in the game, objects have eyes. So if you want to, on your little bushes here, on anything you draw, you can draw these little oval eyes. You'll see that randomly sometimes throughout. Maybe you wanna add the pipe that he jumps into to go underground and travel all over the place. To do that, you would start with a very skinny rectangle that just kind of floats above the ground, and then two lines that come down, and that's, that would be it. <laughs> you can make them tall, short, maybe put the piranha plant inside. I'm gonna add the question mark box on the other side. So I'm just gonna draw a square that kind of floats. Has these little circles on the side, probably for the nails holding the box together. And then the question mark, which I'm going to make look kind of 3D. But again, have some fun. I'm gonna add some coins, because that's what you need to try to collect. Maybe you wanna put some sort of little monster guy, like the little mushroom guys, or the little uh, turtles, feel free. I'm gonna put a coin on top, maybe he hit the box and there was a coin that jumped out. I'm gonna finish up mine with some clouds that are just kinda hiding behind his hat. But this is the point as well. We'll go ahead, finish up those details. Take as much time as you need, pause that video, and finish drawing your Mario's background because next we're going to trace everything. So go ahead and finish that up. Well, hopefully now you guys have finished uh, drawing everything. We're gonna trace our whole picture. Now, I've already done this again, and it looks just like this. This is my same Mario drawing, but now I erased all the lines I don't want in his hat or his head. I have also colored in both the eyes, just that middle part with my Sharpie, and traced everything else. So please take your time, pause your video, grab a Sharpie or some sort of marker, and trace your entire picture. All right, at this point, we're gonna move on to our coloring. Make sure as well, if you have not, you can take a, an eraser and erase any pencil lines that might have gotten left behind. But I don't really have too many, so I'm good to go. Now, I am gonna use acrylic paint today, but maybe you guys have markers and crayons and color pencils. If you want, go ahead and take a look here. You can pause your video and copy what you see in this picture. I have a lot of marker and a lot of chalk pastels or watercolors, have fun. But I am gonna show you guys step by step what colors to use and how to use acrylic paint. All right, let's start with Mario's face. So I have my plate. I also have a bucket of water and some brushes so I can clean them nearby. I'm gonna grab some of these out. Now you can do, again, any colors you want for your picture. So maybe Mario's got fire power, you wanna use lots of reds, or maybe his hat, you want it to be green, maybe it's Luigi, his brother. Have fun, be creative. So I'm gonna start with a skin color. I'm just gonna start mixing a couple things together. He's got a little more yellow in him than um, reds and peaches, so I'm just gonna do some mixing. But grab whatever color you would like for his face, and we're gonna fill in his head, his nose, and his ears. So I'm gonna grab some of these and start mixing some stuff together. So I have a peach, a yellow, and a little bit of brown. So I'm gonna do mostly peach, a little bit of yellow, a teeny tiny bit of brown. It's always good not to just start mixing together. Do a little bit at a time and just in case you need to change the color. All right, 
little more, but again, if you have your color ready to go, go ahead and you can start to paint your picture. That's not a problem. Again, if maybe you're using markers or chalk pastels, just grab that color you do have and start to fill it in. All right, so when you use acrylic paint, it's okay to go over some of the lines that you made. So I'm gonna start with his nose, right in the middle. I'm gonna outline nicely, trying really hard not to go on his eyes though, because I will color those in just a second. And smooth out your paint. You don't want it to be too thick, it won't dry even. Even wipe some of this off. Now my line in my ear, I'm just gonna go right over. I can still see it through my paint and I can draw it back on when I'm done. So don't really worry so much if you can't see those lines, you can always draw it again because at the end we'll do some tracing. Now acrylic paints can take a little bit of time because especially if we're working with a face, we wanna go nice and slow. I'm gonna go around his mustache. I'm gonna go right over that chin. If you get a little on the outside, it's okay. We are gonna paint the background at the end. So you can always just go on top of any color. Smoothing out my paint as I go along. Now for his eyes, I'm just actually gonna go over those eyebrows, but I will go around his eyes because part of it we wanna leave white, that outside part. So I don't wanna get any paint there, try not to. If you mix some paint like I did and you're starting to run out, Mix it again, try to get as close as you can to that original color. If you can't, it's too light or too dark, that's okay, still use it. And you can always use it as shading. So shading is when you have a light and a dark side. So I'll show you guys a tiny bit of that too, in case you need to see it. Now if you maybe drew Mario's body, go ahead and maybe color in a neck as well. But if you're like me and you did a whole background, then you are done when you finish the face, ears, and the nose. All right, so that's all the skin that we see showing on Mario. Again, I went over small details, not too worried. I can always put those back. If I wanna make it a little lighter or darker, I just add a little more of the lighter, darker color. So maybe if I wanna add some shading, put a little more of this brown in here, this nice light brown. You don't have to add shading. It's just always a fun idea or thing to get to try. And I'm gonna put it at the bottom of his face. So I'm gonna go right along the bottom. Not too worried if it's not fully blended in. Sometimes in cartoons you don't see um, the shading blended. I'm also gonna put a little at the bottom of his ears, underneath this little curved part. I always like to say the bottoms and sides, especially if I don't necessarily have a light source. Definitely gonna shade his nose. Maybe add a little more brown, make it a little darker, but go ahead and just kind of finish that up. If you're using markers or a different material than paint, it might take you longer and that is all right, but just know you can pause your video at any time and finish your picture, your coloring, whatever you might be working on. Underneath his hat as well, since it's shading part of his head. And that's pretty much all the shading I need to worry about. Now I gotta clean my brush really, really well because I don't wanna have any paint left on there. So I'm gonna take my bucket. Maybe you've never cleaned acrylic paint before. You wanna swirl it in your water very, very gently because you don't want it to spill on your picture. And I have these little grooves in there so I'm gonna kinda squish the paint. You can always run to the sink, wash it in there. And when you take your towel, you're gonna pinch and pull and there should be no color left on your towel when you're done. If there is, just go back, swirl it around a little bit more. But the goal is to have no color left when we're done, so that way it doesn't mix when we're painting. All right, I'm gonna keep that to the side. And this does need to dry a tiny bit before I begin my next coloring step there. So if you wanna pause your video, you can, or just try not to touch the face with your next color. All right, so now that I have Mario's face done, I'm actually gonna move to his hat. It's a nice big area, and it's not quite touching his face. So I'm gonna use red, but again, maybe you're gonna use a different color. And I love to mix my colors together. So even though it's a red hat, I'm gonna add the tiniest bit of white. And the reason why is because I want it to be uh, not see-through. That would be called transparent. I want it to be 
opaque. And sometimes a color right out of the bottle does not um, cover very well. So it makes a tiny bit of white. You do not have to. But if you'd like to try, go right ahead. And we're going to paint his whole hat, being very careful not to paint anything onto his face because we are done with it. Notice how I'm outlining first to make sure I get all the white spaces. If you go outside of his hat a little, it's okay. But my sky is going to be a light blue, so I've got to be really careful not to get too much red on the sky. Going around his hair. This is the brim of his hat, so I'm going to also paint it red. And take my time to spread that paint around, just smoothing it out as I go. Now any small details, we want to make sure we use a different brush. So this is my medium sized brush. Could be using a large one, but if you're using a small, small brush, I would grab something a little bigger. It always helps to smooth out your paint, and tiny brushes can't quite do it as well. Again, it's okay if you can't quite see where the hat divides, because we will trace that line again at the end. Now this inside part is white. Now I got a little bit of red. What you can do is actually wait till it dries and put a little white paint on top. But I do need to paint the M inside. Maybe yours is something different, but mine is actually just a red letter M. So I'm going to take my tiniest brush, and as carefully as I can, almost like I'm using it as a pencil, I'm going to paint the letter M on the inside. But whatever that might be for you guys, go ahead and finish painting that. Going back and getting all my white spots, smoothing out my lines. All right, now I'm using red, so I'm gonna go ahead and just continue down to his tongue. I'm gonna to use my red, and I'm gonna fill in the mouth. Now you guys can do this a different color. Maybe you want it to be a pink or black. So if you wanna use your Sharpie to color it in, you can, or you can paint it like I'm doing. Again, using my small brush. I like to stay, say small brush for small places, big brush for big places and medium for medium places. <laughs> now for that tongue, I'll use probably a pink. I have a peach and some red here. I'm gonna do a little mixing together. Again, I love to mix my paints, it creates really nice, unique colors. So I got a little bit of peach, a little bit of red, a little bit of white even. So if you don't have a pink, you can make your own, which is red and white. And I'm gonna paint that tongue. Again, you can do whatever color you would like, though. Sometimes we do different colors for the mouth. All right, I gotta let that dry and clean my brush. Now, we have a couple things left on his face. We have eyes, we have eyebrows, and his mustache and a little hair. So Mario actually has brown hair and a black mustache and eyebrows. But if you would like to just color all one, go ahead, you can use brown or black. I recommend just using those two. If you're making a different character though, more than welcome to use that color. But since we're doing Mario, I am gonna stick with the original colors. I'm gonna start with brown. Let me make sure I clean my brushes really good. And that's gonna be for his hair. But again, if you would like to make it all match, you can also do his eyebrows and his mustache that, or paint everything with a black. But I'm gonna grab some dark brown. Not too much, his hair's not super big. I'm also going to use my smaller brush again because it's a smaller area. And I'm actually also gonna mix my colors. You know, I like to mix my things together. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of the browns a little more of the dark though. Won't change the color too much, but it will make sure it's nice and solid. All right, so I'm gonna take some of that color and just paint the sides of his hair. Now you might be thinking, well, I have some brown or some red in my background. Shouldn't I paint it right now too? Probably not, because notice how my arm is on my paper. So if this was started to get painted, I'd get paint everywhere and I'd probably smear it. So you always want to start with just one area at a time. So we're going to paint our whole Mario. But notice I did jump from my hat to my mouth because I did have similar colors. So it is definitely a good thing to do, but you got to think about the picture as a whole. Is my arm going to be in the way? Will it dry in fast enough? 
So I do recommend if you're painting, following along, so that way you don't get your hands inside your project. All right, and that's it for Mario's brown on his face. So I'm gonna clean that and use it again for my eyebrows and my mustache. So that's just gonna be plain black. I don't like to mix anything because anything mixed with black makes it a little lighter um, and changes that color really fast. So I'm just gonna use pure black from my paint tube. It should cover really, really easily. And I'm gonna use my small brush again for the eyebrows and a medium brush for the mustache. Now, if this is too small, you guys can always use a Sharpie, but make sure your face is completely dry before you do that. Trying so hard not to go on his hat, because I already painted it. Turn my picture just a little bit. And my second eyebrow. Now again, I recommend outlining first. Spreading it out nice and smooth, otherwise it could dry uneven, and then you might get your hand in there. And then we need to do his mustache. So I'm actually gonna use my small brush to outline. Especially around his nose, because we've already done a lot of painting so far, and I do not want to get a new color on the face or the mouth. So notice how I keep turning my paper, and that's so my hand doesn't get inside. I do recommend that as well as you guys start to work and start to use maybe acrylic paints a little bit more. This also works for watercolors so you don't get your hands inside. But of course, you guys can use a little bit bigger brush if your mustache is a little bit bigger than mine. Now we will add some highlights. I did some shading on his face and now I like to add highlights. So I'm gonna let everything dry and then we'll come back to it to finish that up. We're almost done, we just have his eyes left, and then we're gonna work on our backgrounds a little bit more. But at this point, we might have chosen something a little different, so your steps might change in color just a little bit. Now, if you're thinking about eye color already, Mario has a light blue eyes. There's actually multiple color blues in his eyes, so if you would like, I'll show you a couple things to do with your paints. All right, almost done with that mustache. Again, trying super hard not to get my fingers and hands inside or on anything else. All right, let's clean this brush really good because I'm gonna need it for his eyes, but there is Mario's face, mustache, hair, and hat. All right, now for his eyes, we're gonna leave the outside white and we're gonna paint that middle section. Hopefully you've painted the eyes black already. If you haven't, wait. Don't use your black paint first because then it will mix with blue and make a really weird color. Paint the lighter colors and then always put your black paint on top, which is why we're doing our mustache last. All right, light blues. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit right here on my plate. I'm gonna actually put two blues, a light and a medium. If you only have white, just put that on there. You can always mix it with white to make it lighter. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my medium blue. Get a little bit of that and try my best to stay right inside the middle area of the eyes. Not going on my nose. If you get on the black part of the Sharpie, that is totally fine, not a problem. You won't even probably notice. And you can always color it again with Sharpie. Now what I like to do is I like to add my two colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up my medium blue on both sides or just whatever blue you have. Maybe you're doing a different character though. You can always use whatever color those eyes will be. Or maybe you're just having fun making your own Mario. Now with this lighter color, I don't even need to clean my brush, I'll just grab a little bit. It's gonna go on the inside. So the part next to the black area of the eyes. I'm just gonna paint right on top Kind of letting them blend together, just get a little bit lighter. You do not have to do this. If you have crayons or oil pastels or color pencils, this will work. Markers, not so much because they don't blend in the same way. Now, I did go on the black part. I will recolor that in just a little bit, but the rest I love. So I'm gonna clean my brush, 
and my Mario head is done. If you have different details than me, please go ahead and take your time, use your colors to finish that up. Next, I will be transitioning into the background, which we all might have some different things drawn. So I'm gonna do a quick little show of what I'm gonna do to color. You're more than welcome to follow along, or you guys can just do whatever colors you would like. All right, go ahead and pause your video, finish your Mario, press play when you're ready for your background. All right, so at this point, we're gonna move on to our ground. I'm gonna save the sky for last, so I'm gonna focus on some smaller details. I got lots of green in my picture today. So this is my original. I have some dark green, light green, some yellows, browns, a little orange there too. So I'm gonna start with my green, a little darker. So I'm gonna grab a new plate, keeping that just in case I need it. Get a little green. If you don't have a lighter green, you can always mix it with white, or if you do, grab that as well. While I'm here, I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow, which I have from my plate before. Um, and that should be good to go. All right, I'm gonna need another small brush and a medium brush. Making sure to dry that really well. And I'm just going to take my green and paint my little hills, or maybe these are little bushes or trees. Again, whatever your details might be. If you drew eyes, just go right on top. I'm gonna have them each be the same color. So I have three, I'm going to keep painting them. Now the pipe is going to be a very similar color to it as well. So we're going to do a little mixing. It's a little bit lighter in color. All right, I'm also going to do a little bit of shading. So if you don't have a darker green, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to make it darker. For green, you either wanna choose a dark blue or a brown, just depends on what you're going for. I'm gonna do a little bit of dark blue, a little bit of green, more green than blue. It just gets a little bit darker. And then you can paint half of your tree. So I'm gonna do half here. And notice it's not too big of a difference, but it's a little bit of shading. And I'll do the same thing on this side. All right, there we go, I have shaded trees. So I'm gonna clean my brush a little bit more and I'm gonna think about my pipe that he's gonna jump into to travel underground. Again, if you need more time, please take your time on that. You don't have to move on with me. Now I want a little lighter green, so I'm gonna take my green and mix it with some white. Just gonna brighten it up a little bit. If you have a little bit more of a lime green, that would work too. I'm just gonna paint the top and bottom green. I wanna add some shading as well, because there's two parts of this. So wipe some of that off, and I'm gonna use just my original green. If you wanna get a little darker, you can. And I'm gonna paint the right side at the top and on the bottom. And that's it. I don't need to add too much more. I'm gonna add a little bit more on the bottom than I would on the top. And shade it in the pipe. Now, if you wanna take your lighter green, you can also add some highlights on the left side of your trees or whatever you did. Just a little, you don't need too much. Just a little fun extra steps. All right, now I'm gonna actually move away from green for just a second and I'm gonna work on my yellow now. My coins and my question mark box are actually both yellow, but I wanna show that they're a little different. So I'm gonna just take my pure yellow and I'm gonna paint the whole question mark. Whole box, I can go back and add small details after it dries. Just like so. And I wanna add a tiny bit of shading. And to add shading with yellow, you wanna use a darker version, which is orange. Um, so I'm gonna mix red and yellow together, and I should get a nice dark yellow, aka orange. And I'm just gonna paint bottom and side. You can also do this by adding a little bit of brown to your yellow, whatever color you're thinking about. You can also go inside and paint 
question mark so it looks a little darker. Now for my coins, I actually want to mix it with white. White's going to brighten that yellow right up, nice and shiny, just like a coin should be. So I'm going to take that, mix it with some white. It'll brighten it up and lighten it a little bit as well. So I'm going to paint each coin again, just going over those details, not too worried about filling those in. And it should look a little bit different than the box, which is what we want. Now when that dries, I can always add a highlight, which will look really, really nice, nice and shiny. All right, my last thing I'm gonna work on down here is my ground, and then I'm gonna do the clouds, and then we'll do some sky as well. So for this, my original one, I had a lot of fun with oil pastels, making it kind of look like dirt. I'm just gonna paint it normal this time. So I'm gonna start with my green, and then I'm gonna do some brown. For this, I'm just gonna use my light green mixture, so I'm gonna get a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna paint the whole top. Now maybe you're gonna do a different season, maybe this is fall in the picture. You could do some red or orange, even brown, because there's different times. Maybe you're doing sand like you're in the desert, like that one picture we saw. Go ahead and just use whatever color you think you need. Filling in all those white spots, and it's okay if you go on the bottom part because brown covers up really, really well. All right, there's my green. I'm gonna add a little shading as well, just along the bottom. So again, it's okay if it doesn't quite blend together. You can also do this with markers. Works really, really well. all the way across. And for the highlight, you can either use a super light green or just stick with plain white. And you're just gonna go right along the top. Just like so. Maybe add a little bit in each curve of the grass. Now underneath, I will just do brown, light, and dark. So I'm gonna start with my lightest brown. I'm gonna put it on my plate over here. And then I'm gonna put a little dark brown shading again. Up to you guys, whatever color you want that to be. So I'm just gonna take my time. It's okay if you get a little bit on that green, but try not to mix that together, especially because that green might still be a little wet. So if you need to let it dry a little, please do. Smoothing it out. Now for the background, I'm gonna keep it just a solid color. Some of you guys might have some different colors you wanna do, like a sunset, a gradient, you're more than welcome to. Not a problem. But for mine, just gonna do blue and a little shading in my clouds. I'm also gonna go back and add highlights to Mario's face here at the very end. And then I'm gonna take my dark brown and I'm gonna put it right at the top, underneath my green. Just kind of letting it mix together. If it doesn't mix, that's all right. And then that'll be it. I don't need to add any more. Very simple. It's too dark, just kind of smooth it out. All right, now again, for my clouds and my sky, I'm gonna keep them white, but I'm gonna add a little gray shading. So I'm gonna use my smaller brush. If you don't have gray, you can always just mix black and white together. And if you don't have black or white, take a little light blue. Light blue will also work for white. So I'm gonna take my gray, and again, I'm gonna just paint the bottom of the cloud. That's it. And then anytime you see a curve, we're gonna add a little bit of that gray shading. On any curves you have, you made different clouds, however you like that to look. I'm gonna turn so I don't get my arm in my paint. 
you want more white than gray. So if that does happen, take a little white on your brush again and just kind of go over any gray spots. You can also just repaint your whole cloud with white and it'll kind of cover it up a little bit more. And that's going to be it for my clouds. If you did more, maybe you did a whole um, area where Mario is high in the sky, running across all those platforms, go ahead and just add more clouds if you need to. But my last thing is my blue sky. For that, I'm going to need a large brush and probably a medium. I might just stick with a medium for now because I don't want to get it all over everything. I always like to save background for last because it's different for each person. So I'm going to get a little more light blue. This might take you a little bit of time. That's okay. I want you to just spend the time painting everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint part of mine. And then I'm going to show you guys a little more of the shading and highlights because we all know this is going to be blue. Also, if you don't have a light blue, please mix it with white. You don't want it to be too dark because your Mario needs to stand out. And if we have a super dark background, it might start to mix with those colors. Light always looks really nice in the backgrounds of pictures, no matter the color. I like to make sure I smooth everything in the same direction too. If you have big clumps of paint, just take your brush and go back over it. And try your best to outline around. Can't stress that enough because we do not want to go on Mario one bit. We worked way too hard. Now, if your Mario is still really wet with paint, wait. If you're noticing your colors are all mixing together, do not paint the background sky yet. You can wait till the very end. You can even put highlights all over Mario. Maybe wait till tomorrow and take your time to paint that really, really slowly. Try not to get on everything. All right, I'm just going to finish a little bit more and then we're going to finish up with those highlights. But if I want you guys please to finish your whole background or skip it and come back later. Don't just paint half like me. Please finish all of it, and then I'll finish mine when I'm done. All right, so our Mario, we're gonna go back now and add a little bit of highlights here to things like his hat, his mustache, his tongue, even in his eyes a little bit more as well, and then maybe anything else we drew. All right, I'm gonna use my white, or excuse me, my little brush and my white, white paint. So wherever your white paint is, go ahead and grab a little bit. I got some right here. Now something like his hat is made of a material that might be a little shiny. So using my white, I'm just gonna go to the top and I'm gonna add really thin lines right along the top of it. Now if you're like, mm, I don't know if I really like that, mix a little bit of red into it and make it a light, light pink so it's not so shiny. Try not to add too much, just a little bit. I'll do the same thing for the top of his tongue. On both sides and a little in his mustache. Now I actually want this to be gray. His mustache is black and if I put white on it, it's gonna be a little too bright so I'm gonna get a little bit of gray and I'm gonna put it on the bottom of each curve of his stash. Again if you do not want to add this you don't have to. And a little bit along the top. All right now again I don't need too much more shading in my Mario. Or highlights. If you want to do a little on his hair, maybe get some light, light brown you can. Or go back and you can start to add things to stuff like coins. Take some white along the top. Makes it look like it's a shining coin. Places like the box. It'll also be made of metal. And the pipe. Only put the shading where there's no or only put highlights where there's no shading. So I don't want to put white on top of the dark spaces. That wouldn't make sense. I'm going to add a little bit more of a super light green to the sides of my bushes as well. And then take your time. You can always add a little bit more anywhere else on other things that you made. All right, you guys, now that is going to be one of the last things for our project today. So wonderful job. Make sure to clean up really well, clean those hands, wipe up that table, whatever you need. 
This needs to dry completely. So please do not do this step until you are officially done. So you might need to wait a little bit of time, pause the video, come back, or just know that when everything's dry, you're gonna take a Sharpie again. If you would like, you don't have to do this step. And you can go back and trace over every single line. And it just makes it look a little bit more like a cartoon again, with a nice black outline. If you do this while your paint is wet though, it might ruin that Sharpie or marker. So again, it needs to be completely dry. You can trace everything though. Feel free, again, it will just make it look a little bit more um, like our Mario picture is a cartoon. Go really slow, because if you put your Sharpie on something you don't want, you <laughs> can't take it back. Well, wonderful job, you guys. Please go ahead and finish your backgrounds or anything else that you maybe didn't get to do yet for details. That's officially the end of our project. Awesome job. Well, thank you for coming and joining us today, learning how to draw Mario. I had a lot of fun. There's a lot of materials and techniques you guys can do when creating art. So try to remember a few of those, and I hope you had fun drawing Mario. Maybe try drawing it a couple more times. Make your own Mario scene. My name is Miss Jessica with Bebo Kids Art Academy, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!